Hi everyone, this is Taylor with Valleyscape Irrigation. I'm going to be doing some shorter videos about common problems and repairs that need to be done and show you how to do them. I'm doing a lot more repairs around my house myself now that we're in this coronavirus pandemic. So I know you'll probably be doing more repairs yourself. So I want to give you some basic um, pointers to get you going in the right direction. So. One of the most common things that we see is improper sprinkler placement that causes a multitude of problems. Normally it'll call, cause dry spots in the grass or areas that just don't grow properly. So my visual aid here, these sprinkler heads, it's important whenever you have sprinkler heads in your grass for them to reach each other. I apologize for the wind out here, but let's say this sprinkler head only sprays halfway. This one sprays halfway that will develop a little dry patch right in the middle, out here, a little triangle. So it's important that you always have head-to-head -head coverage. So what that means is this one sprays to this head and it's everywhere, it's the same. So the basic principle being that every spot of the grass gets covered by two sprinkler heads. There will be no dry spots that way. So you have to plan things accordingly. Now, if you've got a sprinkler head that maybe it's too far over, and you need to move it or maybe you need to cut in and put a fitting and put another sprinkler head the product you want to use is called a slip fix so this will make it easy for you to cut the pipe glue in a fitting and magically put the pipe back together now you can find these at home depot however i always recommend to buy parts from the irrigation supply places because they're going to be a lot better quality this is under pressure and it's also very important that you have this thing fully extended when you glue it together. You don't want it halfway because every time the water turns on and off, this thing will actually move and eventually it's going to break or the fitting will break. I hope this helps you. I'm going to continue to try to put out short little videos about common issues we see to help you get your irrigation through this coronavirus pandemic. Thank you very much for watching.